The Shopping Basket, John Burningham. Pop down to the shop for me, will you, Stephen? And buy six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps for your tea. And leave this note at number 25. So Stephen set off for the shop carrying his basket. He passed number 25, the gap in the railings, the full little basket, the man digging up the pavement, and the house where the nasty dog lived and arrived at the shop. He bought the six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps for his tea. But when he came out of the shop, there was a bear. I want those eggs, said the bear. And if you don't give me them to me, I'll hog all the breath out of you. If I threw an egg up in the air, said Stephen, you're so slow, I bet you couldn't even catch it. Me slow? said the bear. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to the house where the nasty dog lived, there was a monkey. Give me those bananas, said the monkey, or I'll pull your hair. If I threw a banana onto that kennel, you were so noisy I bet you couldn't get it without waking the dog. Me? Noisy? said the monkey. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to where the men were digging up the pavement, there was a kangaroo. Give me those apples you have in your basket, said the kangaroo, or I'll thumb you. If I threw an apple over that tent, you are so clumsy, I bet you couldn't even jump over to get it. Me? Clumsy? said the kangaroo. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to the litter basket, there was a goat. Give me the oranges you have in your basket, said the goat, or I will butt you over the fence. If I put an orange in that little basket, you are so stupid I bet you couldn't even get it out. Me stupid, said the goat. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to the gap in the railings, there was a pig. Give me those donuts, said the pig, or I will squash you against the railings. If I put the donuts through that gap in the railings, you are so fat. I bet you couldn't Squeeze through one and get them. Me? Fat? 
me fat," said the pig. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to number twenty-five, there was an elephant. Give me those crisps," said the elephant, "or I will whack you with my trunk. If I put these crisps through that letter box, your trunk is so short I bet you could not even reach it." "My trunk short," said the elephant. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to his own house, there was his mother. Where on earth you? Sorry, where on earth have you been, Stephen? I only asked you to get six eggs, five bananas, four apples. Three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps. How could it have taken so long?